This is the back seat of a BMW i7. And this is what happens when you engage theatre mode. I mean, what? Blinds, a 31-inch TV that folds down from the roof, Hans Zimmer soundtrack. My TV setup at home isn't even this flash. What else does this car do? Hi everyone, I'm Alex. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the BMW i7. Now this is BMW's new flagship electric sedan and it's one of the most extravagant and feature-rich cars the German brand has ever made. It also, if you believe the internet, has one of the most controversial exterior designs of 2022. A BMW with a polarizing exterior design? Hmm, they're becoming quite common now, aren't they? The i7 will be a rival for the Mercedes-Benz EQS, and the car we have here is the X-Drive 60, which will retail for around $300,000 before on roads when it arrives in Australia. Now this car was jointly developed with other models, which will be powered by conventional combustion engines, but in a sign of the times, the flagship 7 Series is now all electric. And it now combines an electric motor on each axle with a huge 101 kilowatt hour battery that means it has a range of around 625 kilometers. Luxury sedans are a segment where the effortless surge and silent nature of an electric powertrain really makes sense. But the true attraction with this car is more than just in how it drives. So here are seven cool features about the new BMW i7. The headlights are made of crystal and the grille lights up. How cool is that? The i7 has a twin element headlight design and the crystals are in this top section here and they're made by Swarovski, which I understand is a very fancy brand. They're lit behind by LEDs and this top section here is your daytime running lights and also your turn indicators. Your main lights for driving at night are in this section below here. So that's where you're gonna have your high beam and your low beam. Sounds very fancy, looks very fancy. I shudder to think at how much this is gonna to cost to replace if you have a low speed bingle. Now, the grill itself. You might think electric car, grill, who needs one? And lots of manufacturers are certainly going down that route. But at BMW, they say the kidney grill is so intrinsic to their brand identity that they've gone completely the other direction with the i7. They've made it huge, they've blanked it off, and they've fitted this sort of LED strip which runs around the outside. The lights and grill also feature a pretty cool welcome and goodbye sequence. So when you approach the car in the morning and you unlock it, the grill lights up and the headlights start to sparkle. Fancy. It is flippin' huge. This is the seventh generation of the 7 Series and it is now bigger than ever. It's about 5.4 meters long, two meters wide, and the wheelbase is 3.2 meters long. Speaking of the wheelbase, there's only one to choose from this time around. Unlike previous 7 Series where you had a short wheelbase and a long wheelbase, now it's the long bad boy or nothing. In terms of how it actually looks, BMW says that from the side profile, it's actually quite monolithic, and I kind of have to agree. This isn't one of those cars that changes when you see it in metal compared to pictures. It looks just as big, has just as much presence in the metal, but is it beautiful? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's fast. Now this car might be huge, it might weigh more than 2.5 tonnes, but don't think you're going to burn this thing away from the lights in your Toyota Corolla. Electric powertrain of course, and total outputs from the twin electric motors are 400 kilowatts and 745 newton meters. BMW says that's enough to propel this beast from 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds. If that sounds a little bit uncouth for your luxury sedan, there's also a lot of technology going on with the chassis to make sure that this thing is as luxurious to drive as possible. Suspension is double wishbones up front, multi-links out back, and there is air springs plus anti-roll stabilization. You can also have the option of four-wheel steering to help make this thing more maneuverable. And looking at it, I think that's gonna be a useful feature given how big it is. 
As for charging, well, once you start to get low on juice, the i7 can cope with up to 195 kilowatt DC fast charging. So if you can find a charger fast enough, that's the challenge in today's environment. But if you can, it can go from 0% to 80% battery in around 34 minutes. Can't hang around that long? Even 10 minutes on a 195 kilowatt hour charger, that'll get you 170 Ks of range. The Hofmeister kink is back. BMW caused all sorts of controversy when it dropped this feature with the 4 Series a few years ago. But in this new 7, it has been reimagined. So in this car, this section here is in black, but you can have it in chrome. It actually stays in place when you open the rear door. And BMW says that this thicker C-pillar and also this funky little graphic here on the glass helps to protect passengers from prying eyes. I guess that's important if you're a celebrity. It's a cinema on wheels. Like, it's actually a cinema back here. I showed you the big screen in the beginning of the video, but now I'm gonna talk you through some of the specs. The screen itself, 31 inches. It's also capable of streaming in 8K, and it's a touch screen, which is pretty cool. Plus, it pairs with a 39-speaker Bowers & Wilkins surround sound system, 4D sound system, even has speakers built into the seats themselves. It is a pretty immersive experience back here, especially when all the blinds are up. It really is like a cinema on wheels. You can control a lot of the functions back here with this little touchpad in the door itself, so that can put the seat all the way down into this fully reclined position, which feels seriously comfortable. Seats have massage functions, of course. My only concern is this little screen here is really cool. I just don't know how cutting edge that's going to feel in five or 10 years time, but we'll wait and see. Another minor concern, the front seat, when you have it in recline mode, has this little fold down section I do feel a little bit bad about putting my shoes on this really nice white leather. I've also spotted another minor issue as well. When you do have the big screen folded all the way down, it completely blocks the rear view mirror. So that could be an issue for your driver. Not that you're really gonna care much when you're back here though. This car is seriously comfortable and spacious. I mean, traveling business class isn't even this roomy. it has a second huge screen. So that big TV in the back might be the i7's headline feature, but up the front, you also get another huge piece of curved glass. Basically, it incorporates two screens, the fully configurable driver display and also the central infotainment screen. It's a pretty nice piece of tech and the rest of the ambience up front here is really, really nice. The mix of materials, it does feel very premium as you'd expect of a $300,000 car. And there are some useful pieces of tech and trim worth pointing out. Like this interaction bar, which is here. So basically this is a fancy piece of trim that stretches the full width of the dash and into the door. It's decorative, so it's got this kind of funny little texture through it, which is cool. It also incorporates the ambient lighting and it has touch sensitive panels built into it, which controls like the HVAC, your hazard lights, opening the glove box and stuff like that. The mix of materials in here is also quite unusual and very premium. We've got soft merino leather. We've got lashings of wool here on the doors. And there is also some eco-friendly materials as well, like synthetic yarn for the floor. And you can get a headlining made of recycled plastic bottles. It sounds unlike any other EV. Now, creating unique engine sounds for electric cars is a brave new world, and lots of manufacturers are going in different directions. At BMW, they've teamed up with film composer Hans Zimmer, and he's created a completely unique sound signature for the i7. It makes a unique sound when you press the start button and start it up, and it also makes noise on the move. Exactly what that noise sounds like and how loud it is changes depending on your drive mode. So that's a detailed look at the BMW i7. Well, I say detailed, but there are so many gadgets and features with this car that I feel like we've only just started to scratch the surface. A final feature worth mentioning, 
It's also available with an electric trailer hitch and it can tow 2,100 kilograms, which I think is just hilarious. Imagine seeing this thing waft by you with a box trailer attached on the way to the tip. I mean, come on. Is this car worth $300,000? Ultimately, the market's going to decide that. But let me know what you guys think about the features and also the design of the new BMW i7 in the comments section below. Somehow, I think you're going to have some pretty strong opinions.